प्रद्योत बोर्डोलाई जी November 2021, the Honorable Prime Minister visited Ayodhya, and on that occasion, 12 lakh diyaj were lit in Ayodhya. But then, in the aftermath of uh, the event, when the dignitaries and VIPs left, moments after that, hundreds of women and children came out, and they collected the mustard oil from the diaz. And that was a very poignant scene. And this is what I want to point out because mustard oil was selling in Ayodhya 265 per liter. And when Swamiji became the chief minister in 2017, it was selling at 70 rupees. But what I was basically trying to tell you that underneath the facade of pomp and gaiety of monumental structures, statues, and central vistas actually lies the human cost of economic devastation in India. Sir, the famous Nobel laureate Ronald Coase said that if you torture the data long enough, it will confess to anything. And that precisely had happened in this august house even the Honorable Prime Minister also rattled statistics here and saying that inflation was low in comparison to the Congress regime. But even Honorable Prime Minister and the members of the Treasury Bands, they very conveniently sidelined that cyclopean unemployment, sky-touching price rise, and, and overall downside of people who lives in India. Sir, starting from the Prime Minister, they have blamed only COVID. But I want to just point out, just a day prior to the Honorable Finance Minister submitted her budget, prior to that, two very important documents were submitted in this August House. Apart from economic survey, it was also the RENA, the Revised Estimates of National Accounts for 2020-21. In that document, I just want to point out, that is pre-COVID time, in 2016-17, the economic growth rate of India was 8.3%, which came down to 3.7% in 2019-20. That was prior to COVID. The point is that this government brought down growth to its knees to less than half of the level of 2016-17. And in just three years, there was no drops there was no external crisis, there was no financial crisis, there was no Pulwama, not even any act of God. That economy went down even in the pre-COVID days. And after the COVID, we all know and why it happened. Because a very reckless action, Don Quixote type action like demonetization or thoughtless implementation of GST in a hurry. So there's a saying in Assamese. There's a saying in Assamese. Hera, nije nasibo na jana, ako kuwa. Sutal Khan Bule Beka. That means you are not adept at dancing. You don't have a sense of rhythm. You fumble in every step, but you blame the dance flow. And this is precisely is happening. Because you were clumsy, you were sloppy, you were incompetent, and the economy of India was going down, and you are blaming Congress Party for bringing all the all the havoc in the country. So I just want to read out the Indian in International Monetary Fund recently published data. All economies, all the countries, economies went down, slowed down during the, in the aftermath of COVID. They gave a list, sir. Aftermath of COVID in 2020, the Indian position slowed down in such a level that it got 150th position. You know, behind Dominic Republic, Malta, Morocco, Namibia, Bolivia, Republic of Congo, Trinidad and Tobago. So country was going down and down. And for all these, you blame the Congress party. I just wanted to tell you that 2,300 years ago, Kotila very famously said, and I just want to quote that, Desh ki samriddhi ke hit me raja ko, Apadao ki sambhavana ko anuman lagane me 
अध्यव से ही होना होगा उनके घटित होने से पहले उन्हें टालने का प्रयास करना होगा जो घटित हो गए हैं उनसे निपटना होगा आर्थिक क्रियाकलाप की सभी अवरोधों को दूर करना होगा और राज्यों में होने वाली राजस्व हानि को रुकना होगा इफ यू आर कॉम्पिटेंट इफ यू आर रियली एफिशियंट you have to do this and we all know how covid crisis was handled in this country and you blame congress party for that sir yes indeed there are two indias now i wanted to tell my young friend from the treasury banks yes there are two indias one india is there that you have a very select few very fortunate select few wealth generators and industrialists who are gobbling up all the generated wealth for themselves but there is another india where the top you know bottom layers of the pyramid the impoverished people they live in the vast majority of people sir now for this vast majority of indian people now the challenge is how to survive this rahukal and the the is the amrit kal is a distant dream for them sir thank you very much thank you, thank you.